Don't you hate it when YouTubers like make you watch them making coffee? Like, who cares? <laughs> hey friends, how's it going? Happy New Year, 2023. Let's go. So I haven't posted a video in a little while. Um, December gets pretty manic, I think it does for everyone. This is gonna be a bit of a messy, rambly video. Um, I thought we could have a wait like two or three weeks until I get a chance to properly do like a edited one, or, or you could just have a rambly one now. So I went for the latter, as you can tell. <laughs> 2022 was a pretty good year for me. Um, it's been really great to see people again and be able to go out and actually like do stuff. And yeah, it's just been pretty fun. Started this YouTube channel, that's been pretty cool. Um, posted some cool classes on Skillshare, uh, did some cool stuff with my charity, did some cool projects and stuff. So it's been pretty cool. How's your year been? I know it's quite cliche, but I think it's nice at the beginning of a new year to sort of have a little evaluate of like how's the last year gone and where do you want to be this time next year and set some goals for yourself and stuff. Um, although I do have like some issues with goals, I think they can sometimes um, stop you from being fully present. Uh, it's very easy to get caught in the, oh yeah, but when I have this car or when I have this job or when I earn this much, then I can be happy or enjoy myself. Um, so I think it's important to remain present despite having those goals. And, and also it's easy to set like lofty targets, like I wanna be super ripped this time in a year. Um, and if it's the case you don't quite reach those targets, it can be really disheartening. So I guess it's a case of how do we set like goals and targets for ourselves without it damaging us in the process. And I think how I'm going to do that is by setting like smaller goals and targets for myself this year. Although that might sound a bit backwards, but ones that I really think are achievable. Um, there's this quote that always sticks in my mind from Bill Gates who said, People overestimate what they can do in one year and underestimate what they can do in 10 years. And I think that's really true. We expect we can turn our whole lives around in a year. And we can, um, but for a lot of people with like full-time jobs and uh, lots of stuff going on in their lives, that's quite hard to do. But I think by like setting smaller targets and overachieving on them, that's better than underachieving and feeling bad about yourself. Cause that, yeah. And, and to add to this, I think, um, to avoid like obsessing about the future, I really want to practice gratitude this year. And that's actually my first goal for the year is to practice gratitude every day. I have practiced gratitude before and I just fell out of the habit of it annoyingly, but it is super, super powerful. Like you've probably seen like gratitude journals and stuff like that before, but essentially it's just a matter of noting down three things that you're grateful for every day. And, and this could be like your health or your family or your house or literally anything anything you have and I think it's really important to exercise because uh, the world we live in is so advertisement aggressive like like everywhere you look there is someone trying to sell you something um, and it's easy to feel like inadequate I think and like you're always waiting for the next thing to happen like you're always waiting for uh, a bigger house or you're waiting for a pay rise or that next thing, but how powerful is it to be able to combat that where like once a day, you just spend a couple minutes being like, I'm so glad I'm not in pain. How wicked is it that I can just get out of bed and I'm not aching or sore or whatever it may be, you know? And I'm so grateful for this sick camera, which allows me to speak to loads of cool people on the internet, you know? Another big goal for me this year is to really work on this YouTube channel. Um, I found it so fun doing it the last like couple months. It's been an absolute blast. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in the numbers and like number of subscribers and um, you know, how much you're being paid and, and all that stuff. And as much as that is important, like I don't think I want my aim to be reaching a certain sub count or release 52 videos like I think if I was treating it like a business those things are all very important but for now I'm not too interested in that I think I just really want to have fun making videos and more importantly like uh, yeah create a cool like community of people and that's been the best thing so far for sure like just talking to cool people and um, doing that side of things so yeah, I don't really want to set like a schedule, um, but I do want to make sure that I'm turning up and I would love to post as much as I can. Obviously once a week is like 
the most I could do. Um, but I think as long as I'm just being roughly consistent, I'm happy with that. I am going to be trying some different sort of video ideas, uh, as I'm still very new to this. Um, but there will be some more Steam Deck sort of videos coming. But yeah, not to break your heart or anything, I'm not going to be a totally Steam Deck channel. Um, even if it doesn't get the views. Another thing that builds an awesome community I think is streaming. Um, I did give it a go a couple months ago and I had a blast. Like, thanks so much if you were one of the people that joined that. It was super fun. But despite really enjoying it, it was really scary. Like, unlike videos where you can cut out silly stuff you say, you're very much, yeah, live and you can't take back things you said. And it also made me realize how talented some streamers are. Like, to be entertaining for like a couple hours, um, it's hard and I'm not sure how good I am at it as well and I know I shouldn't be like holding myself to high standards when you just start something but equally I'm like who who the frick wants to watch this um, but it was really cool to see a couple of people that enjoyed it so I think I would like to give it a go again just so I can hang out um, with some of the people that watch these videos and stuff. I also really want to release some music. Teaching music is like my main job um, but I haven't released any of my own for like four years, five years. Uh, I was in a band for a really long time and that was really fun. I've got a couple little demos that I'm going to work on properly this year. So yeah, I'd really like to release like two or three singles. Don't worry, I don't sing on them. I also want to make another three classes, I think. I have a great time making them and I've got a little community on things like Skillshare uh, of people that sort of follow those classes. Um, they're a lot of fun to make, um, a lot of work, but I really enjoy that. So, And I'm actually thinking about whether to do a class on like video editing or some kind of like film related stuff as I really enjoy doing that now too. Um, so yeah, let me know if you'd like a, a video editing class. I should be able to give you guys like a free link to it as well so you can all just get it for free pretty much. I'd love to do some more big projects with my charity time. Um, we got a bit of funding last year to do some really cool stuff like we did a music video of the school and just did like a ton of dementia sessions all over the, the county I'm in. Um, so I'd like to go a bit bigger this year. We've got it in the pipeline to do like a big project within disability and, and do like a big series of music workshops that result in like a big single to release. So that would be really cool and, and work a little bit more on like expanding the team and just, just making that as big a success as, as possible really. I'm always working on it and it's always a goal but I think yeah, just to give that another level up would be cool. What else do I want to do? Buy a Tesla, although that's nowhere gonna happen. Although Elon Musk is having a bit of a breakdown at the minute, so maybe that will make Teslas a bit cheaper. Even still, use Teslas like 35 grand, which I cannot afford, but a man can dream, can't he? Sorry for this rambly mess of a video. Um, I don't even know if I should post this. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any goals for this year, what you hope to achieve. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make a new video really soon that's a lot better than this. Um, I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day. Happy New Year. Um, I'll see you really soon. Thanks, guys.